hello this is me of course John Doe and we're on the main channel with this video uh, this is not uh, your ghost hours report like newsy style thing right this is me doing more of the v vlogging type of thing for the channel here and what I'm gonna do with this channel is take time here out of my lunch break at the moment to respond to reactionaries now this is the first time I've directly did a video on this and I'm sure I have to do it again in the future but what I want to talk about is something a couple of things have been said about me and also some things that have been implied about me for quite some time and recently a few people have been more overt about it I don't know understand why but I can try to explain a bit but I've been accused of being a sexist and also a racist and also not being able to understand discrimination in general okay now as you know I'm a Marxist so how I view the world and look at things is not from human nature alright because human nature doesn't exist human beings will operate and function and react and think according to how society is structured what the base society is, what the superstructures of society are, and the resulting substructures. So when you get to the topic of sexism, sexism is of course a systemic problem. It's the idea that the genders are not equal, somehow. And that creates a lot of problems in society. And obviously, I'm not a sexist, nor do I support that being an element of society. But you know, a lot of people who want to scream and shout about sexism are being reactionary about it. Not in the fact that you don't like sexism or want to get rid of it, but how you view it. You view it, you view it as, well, one gender is obviously sexist and wishes to dominate the others. Because that's just how they are. That's very, very incorrect thinking. It's, it's look at men, you know, you want to say men are want to dominate women naturally. It's not true. When you have a society that supports and promotes the idea of men being the dominant gender in society, that's how a lot of men are naturally going to behave and think. So if you want to get rid of sexism like I do, you have to get it out of your head that it's human nature. That men must be destroyed and replaced by a matriarch, matriarchy. Well, my idea is to not have a patriarchal society or matriarchal society. Equalize it to where your gender does not matter. It's your abilities and who you are as a human being that will matter. So to accuse me of being a sexist is ridiculous truly ridiculous because I view all genders as being equal and having the full potential to have the same abilities and achieve the same things in life so there you go okay reactionaries want to call me a sexist yeah you're funny now the other thing of me being somehow a racist I know where this is coming from part of it is a stereotype because where I was born and raised. I was born in uh, southern America, southern part of America in a place called West Virginia. It's in the southeast. And yeah, that area of the America does have a history, a background of overt, horrible racism. And because of my accent, right? Because I have this countryfied accent and I'm a male, I must be a racist. So anytime, anytime I talk about race, People have this stereotype in their heads. And it doesn't matter how I talk about it or what manner I go and talk about it. I'll give you a good example of how people just assume, you know, I'm a racist. On my second channel, I did two videos talking about discrimination and racism. And that just by banning certain words or making certain language a taboo, 
you don't cure racism. You don't, because again, racism is systemic. It's part of the system that governs society. So to get rid of racism, you must change the system. Fundamentally change the base of society. And then you can really tackle racism and get rid of it. Because as, as you know, things like racism and sexism are tools that bourgeois use very effectively to divide society. So they can do with us as they will. But if we unify ourselves and we go through an internal struggle within ourselves to have correct thinking, we can unite ourselves and we can refuse to give in to this game of sexism and racism. View each other as equals and know each other as human beings is far superior to playing this reactionary game where we want to say that, well, one gender, because of human nature, is obviously aggressive and vile and want to dominate another gender. We want to say, you know, because someone's skin color, in the history associated with skin color, that person is automatically a racist. So those people must be destroyed, and then we'll get rid of things. No, you're thinking wrong. You have to change society from the bottom up, with the base of society. Then you can get rid of these things. Then we can have a better world. So we must fight that struggle. To look beyond these things and find solutions to these problems so we can unify ourselves as proletariats and we can hopefully build a better world. And also, one more thing. I'll have to tackle this time and time again. I know it, but I want to mention it now. This whole thing of me being a dirty, evil, vile, commie that's really disgusting and offensive, by the way. It means shows you know nothing about what it means to be a Marxist or even a communist. You've been listening to this American imperialist propaganda that's filled in your head. Won't you take the time to actually know an actual communist? Get to know me as a human being. Find out who, find out who I am and what I'm really all about. And you won't think that anymore. You won't think about, oh, vile, dirty, commie, bastard. You'll know me as a person. So that's all I really want to say for now. I have to keep going on about this, but I don't want this video to be too long. You know, leave comments, to discuss this. Spread this video around if you want. And if you are reactionary, I know what you're going to do already. You're not going to understand. You're not going to want to understand, but I do encourage you to try to understand. And just stop, open up your traps, and letting this ridiculous arguments and points you're making. Because it doesn't work. What has your idealism of changing things? How does it really affect a society? You have small incremental things, but a big change, a fundamental change to really make things better and really get rid of these contradictions we see in society that many of us suffer from? You really haven't achieved much, have you? So we'll end on that note. Until next time, it's just me and John Doe right here in Tokyo. Check it out.